The mission of the Armenian Relief Society is not only a humanitarian organization, it's evolved as the diaspora and Armenia have changed. It's become one of the significant organizations that wants to protect Armenian people from, from harm, that wants to protect the needy, wants to help the able, wants women to empower women. And our core mission is to simply to improve life. In 1998, we actually opened our first kindergarten in Artsakh, which was just recently renovated into a modern building and reopened in 2017. The project actually started in 2016 with the renovation, and we expanded to 12 or 13 kindergartens around Artsakh. Since 2016, we started working with UNDP in the Davush region particularly, and greenhouses. What we find interesting is 76% of men are the migrant workers in that area. They leave the bordering villages, they, they leave the country, and they come back at a certain time. Some women are the head of the household, and it's difficult for them to, to find a job only because it, there isn't one. Through the UNDP program, we've been able to give 91 greenhouses to men and women alike, but mostly women. There's success stories like Marietta, who has three children. Her husband is disabled. They live in Voskevan, which is in the Davush region, highest rural poverty rate in Armenia. And so Marietta today, since receiving the greenhouse, is comfortable. She grows tomatoes and bell peppers. And that greenhouse allows her to, to take care of her family and to give her kids a better, better life than she had. Working with Armenia Fund makes things easier for us in the sense that Armenia Fund has those individuals on the ground that already have the projects in place. We go in with our donors and those who support us, help donate funds, and we see these projects come to realization. We've done a few projects with Armenia Fund. The latest was the four houses in Gyumri. We had actually had a donor named Mrs. Mamian who was generous enough to give the ARS $100,000 so that we can donate through Armenia Fund for houses for people in the earthquake region. And that happened this past summer. I love seeing the smile on kids' faces when they know that you have done something to make their lives easier, when you've given them hope. And it's not about a hand-me-down, it's not about a handout. Honestly, when you open up a school, when you open up a birthing center, when you open up a community center, the smile on people's faces just tells you a million words. They don't need to say one thing. That pleasure that you've given them, that joy, is that hope for a future, makes a huge difference.